To the continuing debate over health care reform in this country, Senate Democrats are expected to bring their long-awaited bill to the floor next week. And just as in the House, which passed its version last week, the Senate is divided over the issue of abortion. Nancy Cordes explains. The fight over abortion has now become a thorn in the side of both parties. It all started when anti-abortion rights Democrats, led by Michigan's Bart Stupak, began demanding that health care reform include strict new language banning abortion coverage. And what I'm saying, and a member of, number of my colleagues, Democrat colleagues are saying, no public funding for abortion, period. Since 1976, government rules have prohibited abortion coverage in federally funded plans. So federal employees, Medicaid recipients, and women in the military do not have abortion coverage, except in extreme cases like rape. But the health care reform bill creates an unprecedented scenario, with millions of low-income Americans getting some federal assistance to help them buy insurance. Stupak's amendment bars any woman who gets even a dollar of that federal funding from buying a plan that contains abortion coverage. I remember the days of back alley abortions, and this amendment takes us one step back to those dark days. The